Hey everybody, hope you're having a great cooking day and I'm going to be cooking my dinner here in just a little bit. Before I do, I wanted to just talk about the grill and share with you some highlights should you be considering getting it. I've had it now for a year and a half and I use it very often. I absolutely love it. I uh, cook uh, potatoes and veggie burger and I'll be sharing uh, that here in a little bit just to show you uh, cooking those uh, on this grill. Uh, it is just a great piece and it's very solid, it's, it's heavy, uh, and it offers a lot of flexibility. If you are looking for a grill, this is a nice investment. So it's going to be a little bit more than many of your other grills that you might see out there, but it really is great. Uh, temperatures, it cooks anywhere from 310 to 450. Uh, you can put it in the barbecue mode or you could put it in the panini mode and I'll show you that. Uh, it also is great for cleaning uh, with the non-stick surfaces. So you can see the inside here. You've got the, uh, the rib plate and then you've got the flat plate. And I'll show you that here in a moment. I'm actually going to bring the camera in a little bit closer. Uh, why don't I go ahead and do that now so I can then just uh, highlight a lot of the uh, features for you. So this is a nice close-up here. So as you can see, when this is not in use, it is, uh, as you can see, actually, let me go ahead and plug it in. So when it's off, the screen remains this color here. When you actually turn it on, it's going to turn orange. So you can see that there, and now it's off. And when you unplug it, it just, uh, the, it doesn't illuminate anymore. So that's uh, uh, a feature there. So here you've got your temperature gauge, low, medium, high. Uh, and then sear. Uh, you have your timer here, and I'll show you that here in a moment when I turn that on. Uh, you've got your plate release for the bottom plate, and then over here you've got your top plate release. On the side here, you have your barbecue mode. Uh, then you also have lock, low, medium, and high, so if, depending upon how high you want it to go. So this would be on the low setting. And then here is uh, open. Uh, so depending, again, you could just put on low. And then when you're cooking, you're gonna the rib will actually be on the top part of the food, and you could flip it. So it's kind of cool looking when you actually cook that way. And then if you want to go into the barbecue mode, this opens up all the way. So now you uh, have an open surface for the barbecue. So as I mentioned. You have this uh, quick release here, so the, the plate release, you press this in and the plate comes right out and you could see the bottom of the plate. Uh, this just slides right back in, easily push in, and then the plate release on top here, this pops down and that is the bottom of the plate. Put this back in, snap it closed and you're good to go there. Uh, one of the nice things as well, in case you are cooking and it might leak in the back, this tray pulls out and it actually sticks out in the back a little bit, which is nice for cleaning purposes. Let me actually turn this around here. So this is the, the back part of the plate, so when that comes out, it's, it's uh, catching anything that might be leaking through on the, uh, in the back there. Uh, as far as your cord, what's nice here on the bottom, if you wanted to, you could just wrap up the cord back here, uh, depending upon how long you want it to be. And then they tuck this through right here for letting the wire be out of the way so it can lay flat and no issues there. Now, as I mentioned, let me go ahead and plug it in. The light, again, illuminates this color. You turn it on and it turns orange and then you can decide, I just say panini um, and depending upon, now it's saying sear. So you uh, will tell you how hot you want it to make it. Again, you can go up to 450 degrees. You can also, uh, let me just put on low. If you wanna put it on a, let's say, uh, you wanna just do one minute the timer, you can just keep turning the knob. If you don't have a uh, clock, you press it, and now it's the timer's on. You press that button in to turn it on. 
and then if you want to stop it you can press it again and then you can turn it off that way so very very easy to use and again it works great cleaning is simple simple to use uh, and it looks great I keep a cover on here just to keep it from getting further scratched up which it kind of did at first but I just put this on top uh, just to protect the top from getting scratched up and you know cleaning is uh, very easy uh, to uh, to do and again with the plates coming off and then of course cleaning around um, the the rest of the grill so great investment if you are looking to uh, enjoy your meals uh, for whatever it is you're cooking and uh, I, I really have and it's uh, been uh, just fantastic I don't I don't own a microwave. This is uh, what I use to uh, cook my meals. And then, of course, I have the oven. And uh, But uh, this gets used quite a bit. So what I'm going to share with you now is my veggie and potato cooking that I'm going to have for dinner. So you can see that on there. And hope you enjoy that part. And let me know if you have any questions. I will put a link in the description where you can order this grill and read other reviews. So here you go. Thanks for watching. Okay, so as you can see, my cooking is in process and it looks great. Let me go ahead and just zoom in here real quick so you can see. We've got some potatoes and my homemade veggie burger. Uh, grill again works great. Can't say enough uh, positive things about it. Absolutely love it. If you really are looking for uh, an indoor grill, this is uh, just about as good as it gets. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, Rebel, for making an amazing product, and I look forward to using it for many years to come. Have a great day and a healthy one.